No, this one I just put in there. I think this one is yours. Oh, maybe this one is yours. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go to the Disney yeah, wiki like here. Wood chip around the Get all the, the good Disney lore. I used to have a Spider-Man sticker Lefeau. on mine. It's LaFoe. It's LaFoe? Yeah. yeah. Way so off. I'll be the LaFoe to your Gaston. All right. I'll do. I'll do the. Changer. I'll even do the. Vo we'll, we'll, we gotta do the voices though. Oh. <laughs> no, oh, no. See, they're not even French. Really, <laughs> they're not really. They, they don't do like the French accents at all. Yeah, like, maybe. The one guy who's like the baguette. Like yeah. he's the only French guy. Actually, <laughs> he's the only in French that guy movie. in French. Yeah, that's great. Rocking the butt tag. Struck to FD. I don't. Yeah, I guess so. What do you mean you guess so? I mean, I'm just thinking of, like, what are the what are the stages? Right. Oh, we got a stitch. Solid. There it is. <laughs> oh, it's a stitch. Damn it. Using those yeah, turnips. That's, that's exactly what I do for that. Peach never lacking in nutrients. Always got those turnips <laughs> on hand. She has to in this matchup. Um, it's just abysmal if you don't have it, because the range. So, like, Marth... Just to keep Marth away from you? Yeah, as long as you can keep pressure on Peach so she can't get a turn up, Marth wins this really hard. Really? And then once Peach gets a turn up, she can actually have something to deal with his range, like mm -hmm. kind of push him back, mm -hmm. and she can turn that into a combo, because everyone combos Marth pretty hard. The, the thing is just getting in on Marth, right? Um, which is why Wave Dash characters have a really hard time versus Marth, because all you can do is Wave Dash in, yeah. and he can just do this over <laughs> just, and over and over. Just bad at him. That's why Luigi's just a bad swam matchup, like flies. Ice Climber's a bad matchup, all yep. the Wave Dash characters have a hard time. Yep. Um, yeah. It's real bad. Oh, almost the Hancock, straight up. Just... Boom. I, it's so powerful, surprisingly so, right? It's always great when it kills. It's like 200% or something like that. And Peach is a big girl, so it might take that. But that'll kill. Tip her forward air, yep. off the top. That's, okay. Peach is best when she's spinning. <laughs> spinning down air, spinning neutral, neutral air. air. <laughs> like, when she's spinning, she's just unstoppable. Maybe it's that way that hair whips. That's true. And the dress? Oh, yeah, yeah, it's gotta be, right? I've got a couple counters for me, too. Like, they can help. It makes you so bad. When you get this, like, it's like, oh, I'm gonna kill Marth because he's right above you, and then she's like, chink! Like, oh my god! Rocking <laughs> <laughs> the green Marth, you don't see that a lot. No. I think Marth's it's probably the ugliest Marth. I think it's very fun of for being the ugliest yeah. Marth. Like, that's the that's the whole meme about it on, yeah. like, the Smash uh, Reddit. That no one plays green Marth because it's so hideous. Green Marth always drowns in pools. Honestly, I don't really like white Marth either, though. I just don't like the red cape. I like the red cape. Like, do red you really? So cool. yeah. I just I, I feel like it was a, if it was a different color. It, it had some contrast to it. It does, I guess. It's a bright red. Yeah. Did you really practice with anyone here? No. Oh, okay. Do they live by each other? Like. Oh. He was like northwest side, yeah. Really? I should play with Jugi. I live right there. I can handle my Marth problem. Oh yeah, he's real good. That'd be perfect. You really can get the practice. Because Six doesn't. I guess I play Ben, but Ben's not. Ben's not as good as me. Uh. So. Yeah. Really? You're beating my Ganon, man. Does he? <laughs> Say how much everybody gets my Ganon. Is he? <laughs> really? Well, Ganon... In, in the Wave Dash matchups, functions very much like Marth. You just punch, punch and jab. Yeah. yeah. So. I yeah, I should have. I never jab. I don't jab enough, man. I don't. It's, that's my like one fault with Ganon. Like I just, yeah. I don't know why. And jab's like the best move. Yeah. Brian's a very, Brian's a smart player. Yeah, like so, when he plays my ice, he's like 
he's the person that's like, all right, he's gonna abuse the shit out of this, and then I just get scared, down tilted. Like yep. he plays matchups, to, like he, he tries to win, like yep. he's trying to win, and like, that's fine. But um, so yeah, that's it's the same kind of idea. Ganon can put up a wall. In some ways, he, he has similar things to Mark. Um, it's kind of true. He's just super just slow. Yeah, just he's just a really, really bad like version. Slow mo, yeah. <laughs> He has wizard's kick, so that's cool. Yeah. Oh, floating rushes. Yeah, exactly. Yep. Yep, exactly. Rudy coming back. Two stocks down, right? Yep. Yeah. No, like, actually, like, he's just... And, and it's the same thing with... with Nick is doing the same thing I was doing. Nick's always pressing the issue. Watch, like, watch watch who's usually going in. It's usually Nick. Yeah. And then, you're, like, right. what Drugi's just doing is throwing up fairs and down airs and things like that, right? So, yeah. like... It's really just... Um... Yeah, that, that's really just kind of it. See, he just kind of, he doesn't really move. Like, he kind of comes in, but then just fares and up high, fares down low, yeah. and just sees what you're doing. Um, Nick's been able to punish him pretty well, but... Yeah, he's doing really good. He's got a lot of control right now. But I think that's why... He's keeping where he wants him with those turnips. I think that's why he's kind of gotten this comeback, right? Because, like, he's trying to end it, and you go aggressive, and he's playing this very kind of defensive play style that works with Mark because he has such a high range. That was really cool. Mars can play as patient as he wants to. Yep. Also, like, um, that was that was actually turning out to be. I, I want to see the next game because I feel like. Oh yeah. It was. When you have a defensive player forcing a peach to approach, what's gonna happen? Um, No, I think I actually want to see this. I think Drew he might be able to do better because he kind of got some momentum at the end of that. It's true, very um, true. So I, I I feel like this is gonna be kind of. Ready? Well, it's all about like which player is adjusting to the other, right? Right. Like Drew he starts adjusting his pacing, yep. and that's changes the whole game. So he kind of move. He always moves across the stage with forward, mm -hmm. to forward air high, forward air forward air low. Um, <laughs> And, and, and you know it's like, okay, you know what he's doing, but I, I, it's really hard to punish him. Yeah, you can't. It's, it's, it's not, not just this. Not um, at all. Mars no, forward air is just insane. And, and it's why Fox has, you know, does pretty well versus Mars, is because he's so fast. And that's why Falcon can do pretty well versus Mars. Because they get the approach. Yeah, they, they can, they can whip little punish. moments. There's, yeah, yeah exactly. Mars moves, they... They hit really far, and they stay out a long time, but there's a good amount of lag on the end of all of them. <laughs> so the characters that do well versus Marth are just fast characters that yeah. can cover the um, Peach, Peach is not. Peach is, Peach is not one of those. Um, this is, this again, that's why you need those turn those turn yep. when you, you can throw them in and follow how them. Does, now, how does Sheik do with like the needles? Can that kind of keep Martha out of, out of the way? Yeah, I think he's right. Yes. Yeah. I mean, people with projectiles also do. Martha's not a projectile. Right? So that's why when yeah. Peach has one, she's it's more even. When she doesn't have one, it's uh, I'd love to see a Sheik just like using the whip <laughs> on Marth. Just like, get out of here. I get bet his here. sword out range. I, yeah. bet, I bet his sword out range is the whip. I would not be surprised. I at wouldn't all. either. Like, I wouldn't either. Have you seen. Yep. Have you seen. There's a. Um, there's a thing on uh, YouTube, and it's like just, it's just like, it's, it's, the title's like typical Marth things or something like that. Yeah. And like he's, it's a Marth on this side of FD and uh, like a fox on the other side, and he just grabs and it pulls the fox all the way over. <laughs> and then he does a, he like does like an up throw thing, and he does like a forward smash, and just this giant sword comes out, and it covers the entire stage, <laughs> and it just comes down. It's That's like, great. oh my god. That's great. I love thinking of like how different this game would be if the characters were like just different in little ways. Like yeah. if Sheik had a better short hop, yeah. And like how much that would change the game. Like, like what if Sheik could use her whip while moving? Like kind of like how he throws his sword. Like, like 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 if Sheik could be like falling through the air and whipping. Yeah, it would be crazy. Like that'd be huh. so much. You could use that for like so many different things. And like just thinking oh. of the little differences to the game that would just break it. Yeah. 
like I love watching all the like the melee videos with cheats on like Martha with infinite jumps. Yeah. Just <laughs> just jumping everywhere. Yeah. It's awesome. Maybe he needs a smaller stage. Or a larger stage rather. Maybe because he did well enough to do the six minutes. You know? Yeah. 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 It's yep. true. Kinda Six was talking about that earlier, how he doesn't like Yoshi's for that exact reason. Because when you're Martha, if you're controlling on Yoshi's, can be good, but... I don't... this is gonna be bad, I think. I don't think he should try I feel like he did really well yeah, with this. Yeah, he did. It doesn't he take did. any time. You know, it's that momentum, right? Maybe you don't feel like you can get it back, and it's just... You, now you have to win three games. And you've already, like, lost two. Yeah. That's, that's just, you know, mentally. It is. Yeah, I mean, I did the same thing when he was up two overs me. I went Falcon. That always Mark. gets me. The mental block. I always kind of just give up at this point. Yeah. I, uh, yeah, I guess you're right. Like, why not just throw out a fun character then? That's true, though. Well, but I mean, I think most people do it, except like the top stuff. Like it's true. And I mean, it also depends. Depends how you're feeling. That day. It's it's so true. Like how much you want it that day, how much you want it that match. Yeah. So true. It's never like impossible, right? Yeah. Sometimes, yeah. Because sometimes you play a kid with someone and it's just like beating your head against a brick wall. Like, you just feel like, like even if it's close, sometimes you feel like you're never gaining the advantage, and that's and that in itself can be a mental block. Exactly. And you are staying in the fight, but that in itself is just taking its mental toll. Yeah. Exactly. Because and then sometimes you'll pull ahead and it's like a, you get a sigh of relief, like, oh man, okay, finally. Yep. Yep. It's you know, it's definitely a mental game. Yeah. For sure. I love uh, I heard a commentator when I was watching a YouTube video say one time, like, this is the only game where you can literally just scare your opponent to death. Like, you can scare your opponent to jumping off the stage wrong or something like that. Like, you can intimidate them with the move. Like, in Street Fighter, you can't really do that, right? Because, you know, you're just put against each other. You can't move the way you do in this game. And that just creates such an interesting, like, mind game aspect. Yeah, it's the yep. reason it's so cool. I think it's so intense. That's for sure. <laughs> And I mean, also, like, I think the. Really, just DI by itself yeah. is so interesting. Because, like, there's no guaranteed combo. Yeah, that's Like, there's, yeah. there's really. There's, there's just not. There's always the ability to do, you know, something. Yeah. Which is, which is why there. Like, that's why there's a bunch of silly things, like shot implements and wobbling and stuff like that. Yeah. That's why I think it's, they're not good, is because it takes out this huge aspect of the game that makes it unique. Um, that's a really good point. Uh, I think that's the most important thing about melee. Other, like there's combos, you know. Every every game is neutral. Every game is some form of blocking sure. and things like that. But sure. like this ability when you're when you're getting comboed to kind of, you know, there's mix-ups and you know, there's just all these, these defensive things that you do. Yeah. Is, I think the most interesting. Uh, that's, so, that's so true. That's that is really a huge part of what makes this game great. Yeah. And, and I mean, we're definitely seeing it now in pro play with like smash DIing up on jabs, yep. with like shakes, you know, yep. tech chase and all, all this stuff. It's just smash DIing up throw up airs. It's, it's, yeah. it's super. Yeah, it is. But I don't know, I've just I've never played another fighting game where uh, someone throws out a move and you can feel it like in your chest. Like <laughs> you know, like you like Falcon will throw out a Falcon punch and you just when, as soon as you see that thing, even if you know it's super telegraphed and you know you're gonna get away, a little part of you gets scared shitless in that moment <laughs> that it's gonna connect and that uh, your whole world's gonna get just destroyed. Well. Same as like Samus when she's got a full charge beam and she's just blinking. Yeah. Like that little blink just drives you nuts. Oh, that's the yeah, that's the worst one. Yeah. Yeah. And then you hear that noise, and like it's Flower. the same noise for all the levels of the charge beam, right? So like it makes that same pop. Yeah. So even when it's just throw when she's throwing out a little one, sometimes I'm like, oh god. Well, while we were saying this, uh, team in real close. Yeah. True. <laughs> Working the Falcon. Yeah, I, I thought this would be a wash. Um... Just dash dancing all over the place. That's a <laughs> Those turnips. I guess he's been practicing Falcon. I guess he's just been practicing a lot. <laughs> yeah.
Is it really? 